No modern layout will be complete without an intermodal consist. This is Dylan Hubbard of RWTX, and this is video 4 of the product comparison series, where we will explore 53-foot well car options in HO scale. As usual, we will look at all the differences and similarities of the manufacturers, like details, prices, and operational ability. Just sit back and enjoy, and let's get rolling. To start with uh, Intermountain or A-Line, 53-foot um, uh, well car, they're in three packs. Well, I'll just show you the, the two end cars, as with all the other three packs. These have 36-inch uh, wheels and standard wheel tread, Atlas couplers perhaps, etched metal walkways, plastic body. And here's the weight coming in at 1.7. Um, up next is Walther's. Um, these do c also come in three packs. Um, I'll just show you the one here. 36 inch wheels, Protomax couplers, a metal, yeah, metal body. These are pretty heavy actually. And um, let's see what the weight is. Pretty good, pretty good detail on them. 4.5. Up next is Rapido. These come in there was one car, but they come with two containers, so it's kind of difficult. Um, but they have 33-inch wheels, um, metal couplers. I don't really know what brand they are, but they are brown and metal body as well, which will help with the weight. 4.5. Up next, Walther's Proto. These come in a single car. 33-inch um, wheels, Proto Max couplers, etched metal walkways, a metal body as well. Pretty thin um, grab irons on these and good weight 4.5 again up next is kato or kato however you want to say it um, this is again a three pack but 33 inch wheels on the ends 36 inch wheels in the middle standard wheel tread um, they actually have dummy couplers um, they have thin plastic um, walkways and plastic and metal bodies their weight 3.2 um, lastly is the Atlas. Uh, these come as three packs. Um, in car has 33-inch uh, wheels, 36-inch wheels in the middle, standard wheel tread, an Atlas uh, coupler mate coupler, etched metal walkways, and a plastic body, which you will see here with the weight. So these are very, very light. 1.2. Now I'll show off the packaging of these. I don't have packaging for some of them, so I just grouped them with similar packaging. Um, Rapido um, comes in something like the Walther's packaging. Uh, Kato comes in something that's a very nice foam package. Intermountain comes in something that's um, similar to this Atlas um, package here. And then um, and here's the Walther's Proto packaging. They're all pretty pretty much the same. Yeah, let's take a look at those couplers. Um, as you can see, we're going through here. Of course, I'll just let you kind of be your own uh, judge on these. You're wanting them to be, um, the center lines to be even. You can see that one there looks pretty darn good. Um, they all were pretty close, but as you can see, some of them are not, not quite as perfect. Like that's the Kato, that one was good. Um, some of them are a little closer than others. And next, like I've done with all the other videos, I just kind of get a quick view from the top. This shows you kind of the designs of the bracing from the top. Um, you can see the Walters car is the only one that has the circular openings. Also, you can see that I only used the in cars. Here we zoom in, you can see the tops of these um, uh, metal walkways. Um, like I mentioned before, some of these have etched metal and some have plastic. From the top view, you can see which ones are metal and which ones aren't. So this next view and this next little segment is something that I, I found surprising. Some of these cars don't really have much compatibility with different brands of containers. So I'll, I'm, I have them labeled on the screen for you, which container is from which brand. And then of course the um, brand of the car. Um, that first one, they went just fine, but You'll see these next ones, they they don't really go in as well as you would think they would. And so these next ones, I've only shown you the ones that have problems. And the, the last car, 
Um, strangely enough, we're not to it yet, but it seemed to have problems with a lot of them. But um, this uh, this Rapido car, it, it had problems with a couple. I noticed the Jacksonville terminal and the uh, scale trains container really had problems with a lot. Um, without giving away too much stuff, I mean, there will be a future video regarding containers themselves. Um, but I did want to show how well these containers fit in these specific cars, because uh, I would say Atherin and Walters are probably the most con common containers. So people definitely want to know how well um, these specific cars um, group up with those. This next segment is pretty significant, and it's just relating to how these cars connect in a situation where they are, you know, multiple unit pack. Uh, so this is a Walters. They attach, you can use this little drawbar, or you can just take it off and use couplers, which is what I do. Um, but it's it's up to the modeler themselves to decide how they want to do it. Um, it. It just seems to me like it works better when you have a coupler. Uh, so this is Kato. Really the only thing about them is you have to lift up on that second car in order to fit it in. Other than that, it works just fine. And so this is Atlas. Point, I'm pointing out a little triangle piece of bracing there. This is on the uh, one car, and here on this one it doesn't have it. The reason for that is... There's two ways to get these cars to connect. You can remove that little triangle, which makes things easy, or you have to remove the screw to remove the truck in order to get them to fit together, which I don't like. So welcome to my backyard. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how well these things roll. And this was actually pretty fun to do, of something I've always wanted to do. And I kind of had a predetermined thought as to which one rolled the best, and I was actually wrong. Um, so this was kind of fun to see which ones could roll the furthest, just their free rolling ability. And uh, it gets you an idea of how, you know, when you want to make a big, long um, intermodal train, you know, if you had a, uh, a train full of Walters Proto, as you see in this case, were the best, um, they present the, less, the least amount of drag on your train. All right, everyone, that's the end of this well car video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, before I go, I'm just going to bring up this table like I have before. Um, again, this is a new table than the first couple of videos. Uh, so if you missed the last video, um, please go back and check that out as that kind of explains how this new table works. Um, check the link at the top of the video, and that'll take you there. Um, I'd like to explain some of these scores real fast. Um, so I'll start with the pricing. These cars were, they weren't really sold in the same format in that some were sold as three packs, some were sold with containers, some were sold alone. Um, so it's kind of hard to make a apples and apples sort of comparison. So I did my best to allocate what one car would cost. And that's how I came up with these prices. Um, then on the, um, there's actually a seventh car that I wanted to include in this, uh, video. Uh, Walther's Ready to Roll made a 53 foot well car as well. And essentially it's exactly like the mainline version, except it has plastic wheels. Um, you can still find them on eBay. Um, so anybody that wanted to go and look for those, they are just as, um, easy to find as some of these other cars. Um, with the packaging, um, I had a hard time kind of putting scores on these. As you see, there's some ties, and that's because many of the packaging of these items is, is very similar, and I hated to give a advantage or disadvantage to a, um, a car that I had the box or I didn't have the box for. So that's why I gave so many ties. Um, and one last note, the Atlas well cars, I, I personally don't, don't like them, but that's because I don't have a home layout. So anytime I, I'm going to be running my trains, my, my trains have to go on the trip with me. And Atlas well cars, between all the parts on them and the way that they connect, it just doesn't, they aren't easy to move. Um, you either have to screw them together or have to take parts off, and I'm not a fan of that. 
Um, also, in terms of the durability and the operations categories, um, they came with parts that you have to assemble or, or put on them. So that's I, I consider them partially a kit for that reason. Um, but anyways, that's that's all I have today. Um, had a really fun time making this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so give me a like if, if that's the case. Um, also subscribe if you uh, want to see some more of this. I hope to have another one coming up soon. Um, also, if you have any trains you want to buy or want to sell, get a hold of me on RWTX uh, Facebook page or check me out on the HO Hub if you want to buy some trains. Um, I really uh, appreciate you guys and I'll be seeing you soon.